So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video I'm going to show you to do this, what you see on the screen. This is actually the Economist uh, excess, excess deaths uh, graph. It is a very, very popular visualization that shows basically how much more people are dying than normal on each country. That could or could not be um, linked to the COVID deaths, okay? So um, they, I actually read on Twitter that they release these to the public. So I'm going to show you how you can grab it so you can update your COVID um, dashboard. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to actually go to the source where, you know, the, the data is. And it is here, the GitHub The Economist. I'm going to post the link down below so you can grab it. And also the Power BI file. You'll get both. And uh, here you can go to output data and they have actually, there are scripts that they use to clean the data. They have all times, uh, all kinds of cool information. Just don't do only this. Check the work they've done. It's amazing. Here they have excess deaths. This is the one we want because it contains also historical deaths. So you just need excess deaths. And now as you can see, you have a bunch of uh, CSV files. So how do you clean this? I'm going to show you how to do this very, very quickly using Power Query, obviously. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy that. We're going to go to Power BI, get data from web, and this will grab the table where it says which files are available. Okay, we're not cleaning anything yet. We're just getting the files that are available in there. So we click connect. And uh, it's going in there. And it's going to give us the list of which countries they are collecting this information for. Obviously, they are not connecting, collecting for everybody because it is a lot of information, obviously, to collect and to clean. I'm guessing that they're putting 90% of the time into cleaning this. So here we have the table. Let's grab it. Uh, transform. They have the table there too. No, this is the one that we want. Transform data. And I'm going to show you what we do with that in just a second. Let's see, grab it. So here we have the data. I was expecting it to be collected in some other way. They might have done. Ah, there you have it. It didn't load everything. So what we want is added data and code added ration data. Oh, they've changed the name. Added Russian, da Russian data to United States excess death. That's interesting. Okay. So maybe it's better that we actually collect it like these. Table filters, because that was not... When I prepared for this, it was not like that. You know, this is live data, so it changes super quickly. So we're going to say whatever is said excess grab it. That's going to be a better clean. And now we're going to remove all the columns. And here we got the list of all the countries that they are actually doing this work for. Now, what we need to do now is to actually collect a clean one of the files. So how do we do that? We go back to GitHub. We're going to open one of the files and I'll show you how to do this with the COVID uh, data set. This is exactly the same method, but we're going to create a function for it. So we're going to copy that. We go back to Power BI. We're going to go new source web and paste it in there. I mean, cleaning that is very easy, but with the function, it makes it even easier. You will see in a second. So no change types because that's going to disappear once we put everything together and then we will have to do it again. And the last thing we're going to do is to put capital letters into that thing. Okay, we could do it also on the main table, but so capital letters equal to table transform column names. And then we're going to get the promoted headers. And then we're going to do text proper. And that will basically give us capital letters on the headers. I have a video where I show you all kinds of cool transformations with uh, column headers, link down below, go check them out. Done. And we are done. You see that super quickly. Now let's give this a proper name, excess deaths, and we're going to 
create a function for it. Uh, so instead of hard coding the name of the file, we already have that on the table. So we're going to feed the variable to this or a parameter that is going to be called file name. I don't know if there's really a file name, but we call it like that. So we put file name as text. I have a video explaining in detail how functions are done. Go and check it out. Link it up below. Okay, so now we have our function that cleaned these things. So we were going to do a column invoke custom column, go in there, access that, column two, yes, my friend. And then it says, okay, you know, the privacy settings for these. They are both the same source, they are both public, so ignore privacy settings. I have a video on privacy settings if you want to check it out, what we're actually doing in here. But in this case, it doesn't matter. It's just it doesn't recognize that it's the same source because it has different URLs in the beginning. So now what it's going is actually going through the table and extracting all the data. We're going to go in there and we're going to say open everything and now we're going to change the types of these things. This is text and everything else here is whole numbers there. You too, baby. There you go. And now, depending on how your regional settings, you're probably going to get trouble converting this. So I did. So <laughs> I'm going to show you how to fix that. So you put date, and then actually um, the first one, this is for date formats more than countries. So the format is actually month, no, day, month, year. So you need to find the country that has that. In this case, the first one does it. So that works. Otherwise, you can be explicit if you know that it's a UK or whatever it is. Whatever it is. Okay, so now we have everything in place. Excess death economist. So home, close and apply. So now we're loading all the data into Power BI. How easy is that? Now remember, they are doing all the work for us by cleaning everything, going through all the sources, all the local sources, the global sources, they say it on the GitHub. The work is big. So we're just cherry picking, to be honest. Okay, how do we do the visualization? You need to do a little bit of changes. Let me show you. So if you put a week in here, and then we put, um, let me see, expected deaths. So how many people are expected or normally died in a country? We're going to put it as a stack area because we want to add to it, okay? So we are going to now put a country so we start seeing something, country in there. And you will have to do, there's no small multiples in Power BI, so you will have to do it by hand or with Charticulator. Maybe I'll give it a go in Charticulator and do a video on that. So let's see. One thing that you have to see is that the y-axis gets truncated, so you need to actually, for this visualization, put start into zero, otherwise, you know, because you are comparing things, you have to have the same in the x and y-axis, otherwise it would be a mess. Uh, and misleading to be honest. So here we have the excess deaths. Now, if we put the excess deaths, the expected deaths, if we put the excess deaths, what you can see here is that you actually put, uh, if the excess is plus or minus. So even if, if they died less people, you can actually see there minus 100, okay? Which give us some issues if we wanted to reproduce it the same way as they did. The first thing we're going to do before fixing this is changing the colors. So you can see that I actually grabbed the, their colors. So I'm going to show you what they are in case you want to reproduce these with their colors. So custom column, this is one of the colors. So we've got to put it in there. Date colors, expected colors, it's got to be that one. Now it's starting to look like... Christmas, 
custom colors you get it in there so we're going to go in there and put the red <sighs> click 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 there you go and now we need to go to the shapes and remove the stroke and now we have it right now as you can see, it's very hard to see because they only want to see the excess that's like plus, not minus. This will be completely misleading. So we're going to go back to Power Query. You can do this in DAX also, but I'm going to do it in Power Query and do it like this. You go add column, custom column, and then we're going to do if you can do actually a conditional column if you want, if excess that is smaller than zero, then zero, else, excess death. So we're basically saying, excess deaths. We're basically saying that if the excess deaths were less than previous year, just don't show it, show zero. Okay, so now if we go and change it to a number, otherwise we're going to run into trouble. Home, close and apply. Is going to load and then all this red stuff is going to actually disappear so now we are going to put our excess deaths the new column remove the old one and then you can actually see oh the color disappeared obviously let's do that again custom color so there you have it. So now it looks like it. And this is for Austria. Title, Austria. And then you just copy paste and change the country folder and then you produce this, right? So this is how it is done basically. So now you can update your COVID dashboard with this uh, visualization. Now I think it would be nice that this gets if you could see more than previous year, but maybe you can. I haven't got into the details of the data because I find it very, very creepy. <laughs> but go and check it out. I hope that you enjoy this, um, this video. If you actually use this, make sure that you reference the economist because they are the ones that actually provide us with the data and it's just only fair to do that. Okay, so enjoy. Thank you.